Hello, everybody, and welcome to Poster My Walls Design Coffee Break. I'm Lisa, and I will be your coach today. Let us know you're here and where you're from. So the idea behind Design Coffee Break is to deliver a few tips that will help you get more out of Poster My Wall in 10 minutes, about the same amount of time as it takes you to enjoy a cup of coffee. Um, so I've got my mug ready and um, hope you've got your mug filled up and let's get started. Now today we're gonna do Poster My Wall Quick Start, which is a beginner level class that is for anyone who is just getting started with Poster My Wall. If you have friends that you think might benefit from Poster My Wall, please do share today's class with them. Today's class is going to cover the basics of templates, basic navigation, how to customize your background, adding and changing text, adding and changing videos um, and photos, resizing your design, downloading or publishing, and how to get more help. And this video is going to live here on our Facebook page, so you can come back and watch as much as you want. By the way, I am here in Atlanta, Georgia, and my colleague Susie is helping out with the comments from the San Francisco Bay Area. Susie, who's with us today? Well, we've got people from Virginia, North Carolina, the Philippines, Alabama, uh, Kenya, Canada, and just a whole lot more. Thanks everybody for joining. All right, well, thank you everybody. Uh, so let's dive in with Poster My Wall Quick Start. So, let me just move the little Zoom menu out of the way. So the first thing you need to understand about Poster My Wall is the templates. We have more templates than anybody else. And, and this is what makes us so great and so special. Um, there are close to 200,000 templates and every single one of them can be customized in every way to reflect your brand. You can uh, change the fonts, the colors, the photos. You can swap videos for photos anything you need to do to customize to get the look and feel that you're looking for. Now you can sort these, you can search by categories or you can search by size or you can just put in a search term. Today, I'm gonna to do a flyer for a hair salon. So I'm gonna use a search term. I'm gonna do hair salon. Cut. Click enter. And you can see there are probably hundreds of templates I can choose from. And when you see something that you like, all you need to do is click on edit template and it'll bring up a little bit bigger preview. And if you like how that looks, you click customize this design and you're all ready to go. So basic navigation. First of all, all of these are elements. So you can click around and you can see I've got a photo, I've got some copy, I've got a logo here, I've got a box. Uh, I could also use the tab key to click around as well. Uh, the other thing that you need to know is that any of these items can be moved and using the corners, they can be resized, dragged and docked, rotated, anything you want. If you don't like what you've done with something, we have the handy dandy up here on the top, undo and redo. So you can see that you can move it right back to where it was, no harm done. Uh, another good thing to know is that if there's an item you don't want, you just have to you just have to click on it and press delete and it is gone. And again, if you change your mind, you can push uh, undo and it is back. Down here we have the ability to zoom. So if you want to get in closer and look at an area within your poster, you can do that or you can zoom back out and see the whole thing. This is also the point where you'd want to save your design and name it. So you wanna click off the design. So you get the design menu up here. It says design at the top right. You can put in a name, uh, hair salon, flyer, and I'm gonna click save. Now that'll save in my, uh, in, you know, in my My Stuff folder, which you can get to at any time by clicking up here on the top left where it says Poster My Wall, you can see all of the designs you've made and you can copy them and edit them or change them or print them or anything you need to do. So now we're gonna start customizing. I'm gonna start with the background. You can see because I, it was already showing the background and it's this purple. Now you can change it to any color and you can see, you can drag around, you can preview the colors. You can type in a hex code if you have a special brand color that you wanna match and click enter and that'll get your hex code. 
there are also options where you can do a gradient, which would mean um, that your design would change from one color to another. And let's see. I'm sorry, I lost my place for a second. Um, got the colors. Oh, and also the great thing is you can upload your own background or add a stock photo. So you just have to click on stock photo. And since we're doing a hair poster, I'm just going to put in, I am going to put in, ah, great haircut. And search our stock photos. So I want a design where, okay. So I'm gonna take this blonde woman, select the image, takes a second to load. And you can see it shows how it's gonna crop. So you can move it down to focus on the woman or up if you wanna get the stylist in too, that's just up to you, click apply. And you've got a new background. Now I'm gonna take this woman for right now and I'm gonna shrink her down because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using her or not. Um, I'm gonna put her over here as a placeholder. Um, I'm not quite sure about that background but I'm gonna do a couple more things before I decide for sure. Now, if you wanna change copy, all you need to do, you click once to add your cursor, click twice to select a word. So I'm gonna get rid of the word color click three times to select the whole line. I'm gonna change this up to, to say spring. And just that easy, you've changed out the text. If you wanna add more text, go under here, text tool on the left, click plain text. And again, I'm gonna select and I'm gonna say makeover. Now with the text that you create and with the text that's already there, you can change the color. I'm gonna click this time on the color dropper, pick from design. Uh, and make it the bright blue. And there's a lot of other things out here on the, that you can change on your uh, text. You can center justify, left justify, change the spacing, add shadows. And I'm gonna pick a custom font. I am going to, not a custom font, I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna scroll way down. There was one I liked that was at the very bottom. Ah. It's called straight brush and you can see it's a brush script. Pull that corner, make it bigger, slide it into shape. And I have customized my copy. Now, if you want to add a photo, it's very similar to the way we did the background. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of logo. I'm gonna bring in my own logo, but I could also bring in a photo. So you can see, you can add from your own photos. You can bring in a stock photo, bring something from Facebook, Google Drive, from Dropbox. So today I'm gonna to take my logo, which is on my desktop. So I'll click add from my photos and click upload photos so I can get to my desktop. And here's the logo, I click open. And once again, I just need to change the size. Oops, didn't wanna do that, so I go back. All right. Send that back, there we go. Drag that up, maybe a little larger, drag it into place. Oh. All right, and there we go. Now also on the left, there's an elements menu and we're not gonna go into these today, but just so you know, go at it back and play with this. You can add shapes, custom shapes, the squares, banners, frames, all kinds of cool stuff. And you can change the colors and the outlines. We've got a clip art library you can use. We have GIF stickers, add a QR code that is all over here. We already went through the text. Uh, other thing is media. Now this is where you'd go if you wanted to bring in your own audio file or add stock audio or bring in a video or add a stock video. Now, because I'm not thrilled with my background, I am gonna click on add stock video. And I am going to search for haircut. Let's see if I find something I like a little better. And I'm gonna take the first one. You can see there's gazillions of choices, but I'm gonna take the first one. 
And once that's in, I just need to click on it and then click up here in the top right to position and I can stretch it horizontally and vertically till it covers the whole thing. And then I just have to move it backward. Every item you have on your, on your design is in its own layer. So you can see every time I click, um, it's taking that video back one layer. So it's bringing up the other copy and then finally that square and it is on the back. I'm gonna take my woman now, cause I do like her and make her bigger over here. And so there we go, we've created our poster. Now, once you've created your poster, you're gonna to want to publish or download. You publish up here on the right. You can see, you can send your poster for your design to social media. You can put it right on a Twitter account or a Facebook page or group that you manage. You can send out an email with an email list that you own directly from Poster My Wall. You can publish directly to many digital signage platforms that we are partners with. You can embed your design on a web page or you can link to it on social media. If you want to download your file, you just click and then you click download. Now this takes a minute or so, so I'm going to click to another screen. Um, but once you download, it's going to give you more choices. It'll say more choices, and then you can choose. And this is where you'd be able to tell it if you want a PNG or a GIF um, or a JPEG, um, any kind of, there's PDF options. Also, you can just designate the size, whether you want a small, medium, or large sized image. I'm going to go back to our poster now. One of the other cool things we have is automatic resize. So this is rectangular for Facebook. Say I wanted a square for uh, Instagram. All I would have to do is scroll down and click Instagram post here, click copy and resize, and this will resize for Instagram. Now you will, once it, what it'll do is it'll bring all the things you've done into the new sized graphic. Now you will have to re rearrange and resize some things to get a layout you want, because obviously if this was a rectangle, it's gonna need a little work to look good in a square, but this will bring everything over. So it's a really quick way if you wanna have a consistent look between different social media or your print things and your online things, this is the fast and easy way to do it. Finally, if you ever need more help, you just need to go under our discover menu. Under learn, you'll see we have video tutorials, a help center and live classes. And of course, you can always email us at help at postermywall.com. So Susie, do we have any questions? Hi, Lisa. Yeah, we have a couple. So okay. uh, working our way backwards, uh, there was a request. One of our viewers wants to be added to the WhatsApp group for Poster My Wall. So let's, uh, let's take care of that. Um, what fun, a WhatsApp group. Um, and then working backwards, um, we had Studio 1954, the reflections from Canada, wondering if that's a hair salon studio, fascinating and apropos, but they wanted to know if there's templates that can be used on a YouTube channel. So not entirely sure if that's referring to video templates, but I'll let you handle that one, Lisa, and then I'll give you the last question. Um, absolutely our video templates can be used on YouTube or to make thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Um, there's not really templates to make an entire YouTube video, but certainly to make frames and to assemble. We've, we've got a lot of components that I think you can customize and would be very, very happy with. What else, Susie? All right, this is from Maya in, uh, was it, was Maya from Nigeria or Belize? In any case, okay. late, later in the day. Um, and this is a question that I have seen on other uh, broadcasts that we've done. And she wants to know about a mobile app. We are working on our mobile app. We have it together and we're just waiting for our approval from uh, the app store. And so that should be coming soon. Please do keep a look at it and look out for it. And also when, it, when it's ready, when it's all approved, I'm sure we'll be promoting it on our Facebook group. So. So yes, we heard you, we're, we're making it and it'll be ready for you soon. All right, we just had one question come in. Uh, this one's an easy one from Ron, wanting to know if you can post to multiple social media sites. Uh, so you can post to Twitter and you can post to a Facebook page that you 
that you can that you control or own. So your Facebook groups, and also if you have a Facebook business page. So yes, you can. Okay, um, we had a comment saying that the premium account can be expensive. So we hear you, Lisa. Share if you want to share a little information about the. I was going to say so to help you out with that today for coming to the design, the design coffee break. Um, we have a deal here where you can get 30% off of a premium plan with the with the promo code Coffee Break 30. Uh, that is for new users, or if you are upgrading from premium to premium plus, or if you're pay as you go and you want to do premium. And then uh, two other quick questions. Uh, one is pertaining to what you just talked about. Does the downloaded file have poster my wall watermarks? Okay, if you are on one of our free accounts um, and it's and you've done video, it will have the poster my wall watermark. Uh, but if you are a paid, if you but if you pay for the download or you're a premium user um, on, on the on the photos and still images, or if you're premium plus on, uh, I'm sorry, if you're premium plus, then you get video downloads unlimited for free. And last but not least, uh, Brandon asks, can you take others' flyers, pictures, and put it on a flyer that you're making? You can work from a template, but you cannot take pieces from the templates and move them around. And the reason for that is that um, our artists do get paid for when you use their templates. So we can't really mix and match the components. That wouldn't be fair to them. Well, that's it for questions. All right. So, all right, everybody, thank you. I hope you've learned some new features that will help enhance your Post My Wall experience. Our next class is gonna be on April 7th and that's gonna be kind of different. We're having Steve Roop, a, the Digital and Content Director at Littlefield Agency. And he's gonna show us how to manage your restaurant's customer service relationships on social media. And that is April 7th at 12.30 Eastern Daylight Time. So that's it for now. Thank you from both Susie and I and from Poster My Wall. We hope you have a great day.